Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four. Interesting day today. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> Hope everybody has been safe and enjoying another snow day yeah, and week. We, we have team coverage on this winter storm warning. Our reporters, Catherine Merck and Armin Rahman, are located in DeForest and Janesville. And our weather team has the very latest on the storm. Meteorologist Greg Barnhart is staying nice and warm <laughs> inside, while Julian Seawright drew the short straw today. He's braving the elements out on the weather patio. And predictably topping our news today is the weather. How much snow or ice could you be in for tonight? And how will it affect your morning commute? Greg and Julian are standing by, as we mentioned. In other news, UW Health designed a plan specifically for the med flight group. The sports medicine team is helping ensure they're physically fit to do an extremely demanding job. Our Andrew Banstra will tell us more. And former President Trump visits the Ohio community impacted by the fiery train derailment. We have the latest on the cleanup and the steps being done to prevent this from happening again. Let's take a look outside. This kind of sums it up. Depending on where you are, is blustery. Slippery, yep, and it's not over yet. No, when will it end is the question. Let's start with Julian out in the backyard. What's it doing right now? Well, right now we're just dealing with some sleet, and that's been kind of the theme for us, and especially in Madison, for about the last two hours. We've been seeing not just the freezing rain, but mainly the sleet, which has limited the amount of ice accumulation throughout much of Madison. But we're still going to be looking at some slippery spots with that sleet that has developed throughout much of the area. Now, you can see outside of our sky cam from Madison over towards Platteville, this is what the scene is. Not just the visibility being low, but some of those roads are ice covered and very slippery and it is even so slippery that if, if you take a step outside you might take a little slide or a dive so make sure that you're really careful if you have to head out now as we take a look at our edgewater sky cam well things are still not seeing too much improvement but greg will have more on this over to you greg yeah, Julian, we're actually looking at uh, the alert day going on here, too. Like I said, it's through tomorrow morning. Once we get past that, I think everything will improve. But definitely, it's the ice southern, heavy snow up to the north of the Dells right now. But everything should improve. If you look at radar, you can see that line of where the sleet snow is just sitting right over southern Wisconsin. More heavy rain as you go going towards Illinois. Heavier snow as you go further north. You zoom in, you can kind of see where that line is. There's your wind gust, too, right now behind there. You can see we get gusts that are in the 30s, too. But overall, if you look at the ice accumulation, not a lot of it's pulling up to the southern Wisconsin. But we've had reports we're seeing Kenosha up to a quarter of an inch ice. Dodge will even had at least about five hundredths of an ice too. So it's not picking up. But that far as snowfall, this is snowfall and sleet. We picked up maybe an inch to an inch and a half. A really snow sleet ice pellets pretty much much more further north. That's what we're seeing. Visibility all right. We're still seeing visibilities down just due to because of the precipitation and those winds which could cause some issues if we continue to get ice accumulation on tree limbs and power lines and blowing and drifting to the north. That will continue overnight. We'll see that decrease probably more tomorrow. Big picture wise here's that system as it pulls up a lot of more. You can see heavy rain here. Snow to the north in the backside. There's still snow and still we got a piece that's still well to the west that we're going to keep an eye. That's going to be swinging through by tomorrow. So really what we're going to be explaining coming up next with all this wintery mess is how much more ice we're going to get, how much snow, when does it end, and how cold it'll actually be Friday a bit later in the broadcast. All right, Greg, we'll see you then. As Greg and Julian have pointed out, depending on where you are located, you're in for as much as a half an inch of ice or a foot of snow. Here we're looking at a live picture of the Bell Line at Park Street. Traffic is moving as posted speeds, but the pavement looks clear, but the camera is iced up because it's higher altitude so as long as the traffic is moving along the belt line it's sort of keeping the pavement clear yeah we haven't been able to see the traffic cams clearly for most of the afternoon today well armin Rahman has been sent up north to check out the snow for the day he's live in deforest and Catherine merck went south to rock county to tell us about the ice situation there and that's where we'll begin Catherine, how are the conditions in janesville right now well, hello, Mark and Susan. That's right. I'm here in Janesville watching the current winter storm conditions. And what I'm seeing right now is a lot of what Greg and Julian are describing. It's this ice. It's this mix of water. It's this pellet-like substance coming down from the sky. And it's building up here and making it difficult for drivers to be on the roads and for people walking around to be able to go about their days. Today, I talked with the public works director in Janesville. And this morning when I spoke to her, she told me that the city was going to take an approach, depending on 
than what they saw. In the morning, it was more of that water, and as it continues to come down more ice-like, she said the approach could look different based on whether they're going to put down salt or whether they're going to actually plow the roads. As it goes into the evening hours, and we're seeing more build up on the sidewalk, and we're seeing some of those plows move some of these sort of pellets off of the street. The city's saying to be careful to allow the city to do their job. Even though we're not getting the snow accumulation, what we really want is for people's cars to get off the streets so that we're safe and effective out there when we're salting. And that's not just for drivers, that's also for people walking around. If you don't have to go anywhere tonight, if you're in Janesville, don't. It's easier said than done, obviously, but best to stay inside if possible. We're going to continue to update you on this storm here in Janesville throughout our newscast at 5 and 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Janesville, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. It's the dipping Dots. That's how Greg I, you describes can, you it. You can hear it on our microphone. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thanks, Catherine. Catherine, thanks. We'll check back in just a little while. Our weather team has been closely monitoring this storm for over a week now, and that's been giving city crews and the rest of us a lot of time, plenty of time to prepare. Dane County along with Iowa, Jefferson and Milwaukee counties are under a winter storm warning until noon tomorrow. Dane County has fully mobilized several dozen highway trucks to manage the event, which is expected to create significant problems on the roads, as you can see there, and potential power outages. So sometimes we just wish it would snow because it would be easier just to plow snow. But uh, I think what we're looking at, uh, you've seen this morning, doesn't look like that much. But it was a chance for us to get out there and reestablish uh, the residual salt on the road to keep the snow and ice from binding to the pavement. Or the Dane County Highway Department reminds everyone to stay back. 300 feet from a snowplow for your own safety. And let's take a look at the road conditions across southern Wisconsin from the uh, 511 map. Red stands for ice covered, which is pretty much the entire southern part of the state. Blue stands for snow covered. Purple means slippery stretches. The bell line around Madison currently listed as ice covered. So if you don't have to go out, don't. The wintry mix is causing streets and intersections to slick up across southern Wisconsin. And as our Armand Raman finds in DeForest, it's getting worse the further north you go. You go. Hi, Armand. How does it look there now? Yeah, guys, we... Well, you know, we actually wanted to go even farther up north, but it was a very quick nope as soon as we got on the interstate there. No matter the colors that you guys mentioned on the 511 map, blue, purple, it's all white out here. It is all covered in a very slick, like you said, the kind of dip and dots type of thing. And it just pelts your face. It just pelts the pavement, making it very slick. Thankfully, so far, we've seen cars taking it pretty easy out here on the interstate, as well as trucks. And those high winds and that visibility risk is another risk for trucks which can very easily roll over if they do get into some type of a slippery situation. That came right from the Department of Transportation's warnings there. I'll be speaking with the Wisconsin State Patrol later on in the evening to get the latest on how you should plan out your commute. But if you don't have to drive, the advice, of course, is just don't. Stay inside and stay safe. For now, reporting into Forest, Armand Rama, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. Be careful out there. Yeah. A Christian tradition was put on hold today across the Madison area because of the weather. Today is Ash Wednesday, and while many local churches had to cancel or postpone services, the Madison Diocese did hold a noon mass at their pastoral center on High Point Road. In Western churches, Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, and Christians normally get marked with ash on their foreheads, usually in the shape of a cross. The ashes come from the burning of palm branches left over from Palm Sunday. For those that had to skip their annual Ash Wednesday observance, Madison's bishop has some suggestions. Make this day holy as you can. You know, dedicate some time to prayer, read the Bible. Um, think about, if you haven't already, what you're going to do for Lent. So what is it in my life that I need to change in order to come closer to God? But it's a, a beautiful time to really reflect on our relationship with God, our relationship with others, especially the poor and the needy. Bishop Heine added that for Catholics, Ash Wednesday is like a reboot to focus on what really matters in life. 
Well, in other news on this Wednesday, when UW Health Sports Medicine team isn't keeping our Badger athletes on the field, they've found a way to keep the community safe. Last month, their new tactical athlete specialty clinic began working with nurses and doctors on med flight. They've introduced specialized training, as our Andrew Branstra found out. Andrew? Yeah, that's exactly right. UW Health designed a plan specifically for the med flight team. Now, the sports medicine team is helping ensure that they're physically fit enough to do an extremely demanding job. That includes training to trek long distances with heavy backpacks, giving CPR, or even carrying a body. The med flight team approached UW Sports Medicine about creating the program in late 2020, and their first session was in January. Different med flight teams will be testing and training throughout the year. It will be a process going forward that we do on a yearly basis, so we're looking at uh, making sure that our crew members are consistently staying fit and staying healthy and just looking for areas where, you know, if we're, we have an area where we're weak, that we can continue to work on that and just make sure that we're duty ready on a, on a day to day basis. UW Health told me that many first responders are tactical athletes, and if we don't treat them as such, it could be the difference between life and death in our community. Now, coming up at 5, we'll give you a look at some of the exercises that they're having their athletes do, and hey, maybe you'll see me do a few as well. Oh, we can't wait for that. <laughs> All right, thank you, Andrew. President Biden visited countries on NATO's eastern flank today before wrapping up his trip to Ukraine and Poland. The president, who had a trace of ash on his forehead for Ash Wednesday, was there to meet with the leaders of the eastern European NATO countries, known as the Bucharest Nine. As the countries on NATO's eastern flank, they are most vulnerable to a potential attack by Russia. You know better than anyone what's at stake in this conflict, not just for Ukraine, but for the freedom of democracies throughout Europe and around the world. During the meeting, the president once again reaffirmed the United States' commitment to its allies, calling it a sacred oath and vowing to defend every inch of NATO. NATO Secretary General warned that Russia is preparing for more war, not peace. Today's meeting comes at the end of President Biden's trip that began with an unannounced visit to Kyiv on Monday, meant to bolster support for Ukraine as the war with Russia enters its second year. Federal right Regulators are taking charge of recovery efforts in East Palestine, Ohio, where a freight train derailment has disrupted lives and spread concerns about toxins released in the wake of the accident. Former President Donald Trump, who is running for president again, visited the community today. Nicole D'Antonio has more. Former President Donald Trump visited East Palestine, Ohio, where residents are still struggling from that freight train derailment that spewed toxic chemicals in their community. We're here today in East Palestine to show our love and support for our fellow Americans and this hour of need, and that's what it is. It was an hour of a need, but they've done some incredible work in a very short period of time. The former president, who has announced he's running for the White House again in 2024, has been critical of the Biden administration's response to the disaster. Ahead of Mr. Trump's visit, President Biden tweeted, quote, for years, elected officials, including the last admin, have limited our ability to implement and strengthen rail safety measures. We know that this community will bounce back. On Tuesday, the Environmental Protection Agency ordered Norfolk Southern to pay for the cleanup of the train wreck and chemical release. If it fails to comply, the EPA warned it will do the cleanup itself and seek triple damages from the company. What's going to happen in the water? Everyone's concerned about the environment. This is a man-made type of disaster. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg travels to East Palestine tomorrow to meet with community members. Meanwhile, he's urging lawmakers here on Capitol Hill to take bipartisan action. One of the reasons that I'm asking Congress for help is that right now, uh, there is a cap on the toughest fines that we can impose, uh, about a, a quarter of a million dollars per violation. The Transportation Secretary's visit will come as the National Transportation Safety Board plans to release preliminary findings from its ongoing investigation. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Washington. And a DOT spokesperson said Buttigieg is visiting the community, quote, now that the EPA has said the moving it's moving out of the emergency response phase and transitioning to the long-term remediation phase.
Well, it's a celebration of black-owned businesses in the Madison area, and they're putting on the Ritz tomorrow night at Monona Terrace. When we come back, we'll learn more about the Madison Black Chamber of Commerce as it celebrates a decade of service. We'll have a preview of the Madison Black Gala when Live at 4 continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at 4. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me really self-conscious. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is extremely hard to get rid of with diet and exercise alone. That's exactly why I went to Sono Bello. I really trust their team of experts, and I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. Ab EX is a great alternative to a tummy tuck. So that stomach overhang that you mentioned becomes a flat, tight tummy fast with minimal downtime. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now to learn more about Ab EX by Sono Bello. Call 1 800 848 9429 or go to sonobello.com. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. And if you haven't tried Plexiderm, we've created the best offer yet with our Valentine's Day Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Even the 11 lines between your eyes are visibly gone in minutes. Plexiderm works so well that celebrities in Hollywood and people just like you feel years younger in minutes. This is why I'm letting people try it for only $14.95 this Valentine's Day at PlexidermTrial.com. So I've had under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks. I have spent so much money on tons of eye creams, eye gels. Finally, I tried something called Plexiderm and I'm not joking, it works. When I do a collage, and everything is done, it looks amazing. That is exactly how Plexiderm makes me feel. I put it on my face, and somehow, some way, I look together, which is amazing. I'm Jackie, and I took the Plexiderm 10 minute challenge, and so should you. I'm Neela, I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. And yet, when you look in the mirror, what you see necessarily isn't what you feel inside. Plexiderm, seriously, honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there, like the bags are gone. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell rock. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing the appearance of under eye bags and wrinkles in minutes. This Valentine's Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. So if under eye bags make you look tired or feel older, take action this Valentine's Day and see that younger looking you. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Well, today is National Margarita Day. The alcohol used in margaritas, of course, is tequila. And tequila comes from the agave plant. Agave is drought tolerant and it can thrive in hot weather with little to no water. However, the crops are not tolerating the recent major weather whiplash from extreme drought to deadly storm deluges. Climate change is also putting a strain on the agave plant's vital pollinator, the bat. Warming temperatures have become a growing concern for the Mexican long-nosed bat. That is a key species for authentic tequila. Why wasn't that just not the lead story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, <laughs> actually, I didn't, know, I didn't know about the bat, did you? Yeah, it did. It's interesting. Well, many Americans apparently are not comfortable with artificial intelligence when it comes to our health care. That's according to a new survey by the Pew Research Center. It found 60% of Americans wouldn't be comfortable with a health care provider relying on AI to diagnose their disease or to recommend treatment. About 6 in 10 Americans also say
said they wouldn't want AI-driven robots performing parts of their surgery. That being said, 65% of survey respondents think using AI to detect skin cancer could improve the accuracy of that diagnosis. It was a mixed day on Wall Street as the Fed seemed firm on raising interest rates. The Dow Industrials fell 84 points, closing at 33,045. The Nasdaq managed a 14-point gain, but the S&P 500 gave up, sticks. gave up six, that is. Still to come before the effects of racism can run deep. Even affecting your health. We'll have more on that coming up after Greg's first alert forecast. Everyone. All right, team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. Four Imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at fourimprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. For Imprint, for certain. Ready to feel what it's like when you can do more with less asthma? It's possible with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks <laughs> and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Are you in? Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about newer worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Every family is a little bit different, and we'd all love life to be a little bit simpler. No matter where you work or how hard you play, you need reliable appliances to help you conquer the inevitable hectic day. Whether you're optimizing space for the next great race or looking for a quiet place, Criterion Appliances are ready when you are. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. We'll take a look at this. A Wyoming Highway Patrol trooper, trooper avoids being hit by a careening 18-wheeler. Whew! By mere inches, this terrifying near-miss moment happened on a snowy I-80 when the truck's driver lost control, ran off the road, narrowly missing the trooper. The agency shared the video with a reminder to drivers to slow down and move over. <laughs> Good grief. Right, that could have been, that's a very close call. Yeah, that's close. Especially to, on a day like today. Yeah, so. I've been on that road many times, <laughs> Iowa, in Wyoming. The wind blows like crazy, too, and slowing and drifting, big issue there. So. Slow down. Yeah, we don't have the blowing and drifting, but we have the other issues. So a lot of sleet, a lot of freezing rain uh, that will come to an end, hopefully. It will tomorrow, and I'll break down when to expect it to all the end, and we'll actually see some drier weather after the break. For back pain, I've always been a take two and call in the morning guy, but my new doctor recommended Salon Pass. Without another pill upsetting my stomach, I get powerful, effective, and safe relief. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. Tomorrow is a long time coming. 
we're continuing the work we started over 20 years ago by growing our investments in solar and wind energy. What can Sono Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sonobello, you can permanently remove stubborn fat in just one visit. Don't wait. The results I've seen achieved are truly outstanding. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sonobello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. Every single moment takes your breath away, every powerful emotion makes your spirit soar. Everyone who sees it remembers it forever. Join the circle of life at The Lion King. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at overture.org. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we still got all these winter storm warnings and ice storm warnings really till tomorrow morning. Really, the ice storm is still for the accumulation of ice further north. We got a winter storm warning. This is because of, uh, basically a combination of sleet, freezing rain, and snow, and then obviously more snow as you go further north. Everything should be expired or taper off by tomorrow. We talked about precipitation types right now. We're kind of in between right now where the freezing rain and that sleet is right here. And basically, it's how much warm air loft we can get overhead changing it to snow and then the cold air sleet. So we're sitting right in this area where we sometimes will get the sleet, freezing rain. Further north, they got more cold air, so it's, no, it's snow. Illinois, further south of the warmer system, it's all snow right now. So all four precipitation types we've went through, and that's kind of what we do sometimes in these major significant storms. South of US 50, we're breaking it down about half inch. Right now, accumulation probably more like a quarter of inch now. Still could have some issues with trees and power lines due to the heavy, uh, strong winds. Should taper off here closer to midnight or there afterwards, maybe some flurries or drizzle. North of US 51 to the Dells, we're kind of in that sleet with some pockets of freezing rain, some snow. Ice accumulation, we may pick up a 500 or a tenth. Like I said, Dodgeville already has about a 500. One to five inches of snow and or sleet, depending how far north you go. And then you go up north for the Dells. Basically, that is where the heavy snow is. They'll see a break later tonight, more snow tomorrow morning. Some sleet may mix in tonight, but definitely further north you go to the Dells. That's where the heavier, almost a foot of snow is potentially possible once we all finish with this. You see this system basically is going to begin lift north. That's the first edge. We'll see a break. You got the back edge coming through here. That'll be more tomorrow morning's commute. So we might see a brief return of some precipitation there. Once that lifts off, then we should be done with most of it. Cloud cover in the afternoon. We'll clear skies out briefly tomorrow, but then we got a little bit of another wave. You can see it going into the plains. That'll bring another shot, maybe a snow Friday night to us. Once again, that'll just be snow and not a big issue. Overall, we're looking at, you can see the precipitation here. Pink is where we need the mix. Green is rain. Snow is that. It's going to kind of waver. That line is over basically overnight. Oops, go back there. Let's go back one more. There we go. We can see as we go through the night, we're going to see that kind of fade away as we get closer to midnight. So it's going to be more light precipitation after midnight. Still freeze and drizzle, flurry activity throughout this area. But the bulk of it should be done. And then, as I said, towards tomorrow morning, we're going to see the back edge. So another round maybe of some light snow, 
maybe some mixed precipitation towards morning's commute. Not a significant snow event, but still you could see some accumulation with this as it comes through that time frame. Notice that'll then lift out by 8 or 9 a.m. We'll start then to clear out by the afternoon. You can see the low pretty much goes right overhead. Our winds turn more north, and we got more colder air coming. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, really the snow issue, a flu flurries, snow showers, we're not expecting a lot. And then we should clear out to go a very cold Friday morning. We'll get more on that in a bit. Overall, snow amounts, sleet amounts, mainly one to two inches down here. Much more as you go further north. They could get 10 plus inches setting all this tonight with that. Further south, really just dealing with some freezing rain, ice, sleet issues, so less than a half inch to an inch of actual snow or sleet is that's what we're looking for. Ice accumulation right now, we're not expecting a lot more, maybe another quarter of an inch in some isolated areas, tenth of an inch to five of an inch if you get more up to like US 14. So we're not expecting much more, maybe a tenth of an inch in ice. Like I said, they'll be in combination with the sleet that's already in the ground. And some of the reports down here have already had about a quarter to three tenths of ice already. So that's why the power issue could come into play. As I said, we were going to have a cold Friday morning. We could get temperatures down in the single digits and we even have some wind chills going with that too with the north wind. So once again, we have a cold Friday. The weekend looks okay. And then we have the next system coming Sunday night into Monday. The positive news on this, this looks to be all rain on the warm side. You can see temperatures climbed to the mid 40s on Monday. And it still kind of remains active through the whole next week too. According to you guys, spring starts next Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Meteorological spring? We just flip the switch like that. So. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> All right, just be careful going out tonight. Yeah, it's going to be slippery. And like I said, improvements tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon, and then Friday just look good. How about the commute tomorrow? It's still going to be some snow going on. So it still could be icy, and if we got any refreezing, so yeah, tomorrow's morning's cute, so it's going to be a little dicey. And be careful walking, especially oh. if you're walking dogs and stuff oh, on yeah. the sidewalks. You can go down. Sometimes you got the sleet, and you put some ice on top of it, so it can be, yeah. It's right. Got to find the act tracks. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm. Well, growing evidence shows the impact of racism leads certain groups to have a tougher time getting a full night's sleep, putting them at a higher risk for bigger health problems. CBS's Jared Hill has more. Getting a good night's sleep can be easier said than done, but new research shows for black Americans it may be even harder. National data indicate that black adults and other non-white adults have poorer sleep. A 2022 study from Yale University found black Americans had the highest rate of short sleep compared to their white and non-white counterparts. We want to be able to address disparities in sleep because we know that sleep is associated with some of the leading causes of death, including cardiovascular disease. Mercedes Carnathon at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine says it's not because of biological differences. It's more likely attributed to social and structural factors that influence our opportunity to get good sleep. Factors like noise pollution, whether it's traffic, construction, factories, or airports, research has shown black Americans are more likely to live in communities where the noise levels are higher. Another factor, social stress. Sean Arioye says it wasn't until the racial justice protests of 2020 that she really started having trouble sleeping. My mind is constantly worried about things around me. If when my daughter is gone, I'm worried that she's going to be pulled over by the police. The single mom from Chicago says that doesn't just mean she's more tired. I suddenly have high blood pressure and um, I know that it's due to the anxiety. I know that it has a sleep component. It all goes together. Experts know the solutions aren't simple, but they hope awareness can be a start. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. And experts recommend people try to create the best environment to sleep for the circumstances. Turning off the TV and other devices like your phone before bed and discuss challenges you have with your doctor. Well, coming up next here on Live Before, Consumer Reports helps choose devices for our smart home. And then coming up next hour at 5, political reporter Will Keneally breaks down yesterday's election with the help of Marquette Law School poll director Charles Franklin. That's coming up at 5. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So captivating. You don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, crowd go crazy. the RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Well-qualified buyers get 2.99% financing on all Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models.
Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. A lot of new dry eye patients in my office tell me about their frequent dry eyes, which may point to dry eye disease. Millions of Americans were estimated to have it. They also tell me they've tried artificial tears again and again, but the relief is temporary. Zydra can provide lasting relief. Zydra treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. Don't use if allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort or blurred vision when applied, and unusual taste sensation. Why wait? Ask your eye doctor about a 90-day prescription for Zydra today. This President's Day, we're throwing a five-star celebration at Bob's Discount Furniture, making it super easy to shop my top-rated products. I've got on-trend styles, Ooh. unbeatable prices, ah. thousands of highly rated and reviewed pieces ready to ship now. Yeah. So this President's Day, ditch the gimmicks and phony sales because the stars have aligned at Bob's. The reviews are in. Shop Bob's for style, value, and quality. From working out to catching up, and of course, game night. Your home is the groundwork for all of life's awesome moments. This is Tom Coyle. My family and I say thank you. We're proud to have been a part of this community for 78 years. And during our 78th anniversary event, carpet installation is just $78. Coyle Carpet One Floor and Home. Beautiful, made affordable. Locally owned and operated since 1945. team we got a big project coming up and it all starts with ordering promotional products I'm on it for imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for the latest in apparel drinkware bags high-tech items and more you can be certain of getting it right at forimprint.com come on out I'm on it for imprint for certain New at 5 News 3 Now has our team on the streets around the area giving you live coverage of the weather impacts as they happen. Freezing rain, sleet and snow will continue through the evening and begin to taper off overnight and tomorrow morning. Even so, untreated roads and pavement will be icy and dangerous. At 5, I'll let you know how much more ice and snow to expect and when it'll end. And ahead at 6, Will Keneally breaks down last night's election, analyzing the voter turnout and overall results. That's tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Well, this is a live look from the Edgewater sky cam looking at the Capitol. I guess it's still kind of a silhouette of the Capitol. <laughs> out there. Well, we've highlighted a unique group of fitness lovers in the 608. You may have seen this group working out near the UW-Madison campus and up at the Capitol a couple of mornings a week. Our photojournalist Mark Schilling takes us there. I'm awake! I'm awake! I'm a co-leader at November Project Madison with my colleague Haley. All right, all right, listen up. Here's the workouts. November Project is at its core a fitness movement, but it's much more than that. It's a community gathering space. People come, they want to work out, they want to run, but they also want to hang out with people, socialize. <laughs> Madison, we've been doing it for 10 years, and we're really just like a community. Bring it in nice and tight, circle up. We have everyone from couch potatoes to people who've done the Iron Man five times. And the really beautiful thing about it is that we work out sort of in a circuit style, so no matter your pace. You never feel like you're behind. You never feel like you just got lapped. You're in the mix. You're crossing paths with people, saying hi, giving high fives. And you can't really tell who's ahead or who's behind, and we do that on purpose. <laughs> We want to make it fun, and we want to make it more um, adult recess-like, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, sir! We're all stars! She is contagious! Here in Madison, we work out twice a week on Wednesdays and Fridays. On Wednesdays, we're up here at Bascom Hill. This hill is the great equalizer. And on Fridays, we're at the Capitol Square. The Capitol workouts, I would say, are easier. We do a lot more steps, it's flatter. We also get a lot more people on Fridays, so the energy feels a little bit different. The weather definitely amps us up. The bad weather thing is like our shtick. I think that's sort of the beauty and like the just show up mentality. That's another thing that forms here is that camaraderie, that we're in this together mentality. No matter the weather, no matter how crappy it is, you have an excuse to get up because you know other people are gonna be there too. Grab a partner as you come in. We got one more thing. 
it just warms my heart when people who meet here just for like an hour on Wednesday and Friday mornings um, start to develop uh, friendships outside of that. And it happens all the time. I think that's why people come here. Find a sense of community that maybe you can't get anywhere else. Tell your partner you're glad you're here. What a great group! To try that out. Running up Bascom Hill, uh, boy, that, that is a great equalizer. You've done that a time or two in your day. I'm not sure I ran. <laughs> you can find more information on the November Project by going to this story on Channel 3000. Dot com. Well, maybe you've seen those fancy-looking homes where everything is automated or powered by the touch of a button. If you'd like to have a smart home, but you feel like you're stuck in the Stone Age, Consumer Reports is here to help. Turns out some inexpensive upgrades on everyday items can bring many smart home features to you. Matthew Helgeson tells us more. Syed Abbas has been using smart bulbs and plugs for a few years. When I leave home, I can just check my app. To, to know that, okay, all the lights are turned off, I'm not using any energy that I don't need. Both smart bulbs and plugs can turn any lamp into a smart lamp that you can control from anywhere using an app or a smart speaker like Alexa or Google Assistant. But how do you know if bulbs or plugs are best for your home? Smart bulbs are a better choice for lamps that have a lampshade because the bulbs themselves are kind of ugly looking. Bulbs are also a great choice for fixtures that can't be plugged in, such as overhead light fixtures. If you want lighting that can change color or even color temperature from warm to cool, then of course you would also want a smart bulb. After evaluating nearly a dozen smart bulbs, Dan says these models from TP-Link, Casa Smart, and Cree are great budget options. If you want to dip more than your toe into the smart home trend, smart plugs offer a lot of options. With smart plugs, you can automate way more than just lighting. You can use them to control any appliance in your home, whether it's a fan or even a coffee maker. They're also really great for fire safety for devices like space heaters, hair straighteners, or hair dryers. If you forget to turn them off, you can do it remotely from your phone even when you're not home. CR says this smart plug from GE was one of the easiest to set up and works with both Alexa and Google Assistant. This TP-Link Casa smart plug is also easy to set up and use, and it works with Amazon, Apple, Google, and Samsung assistants. As for Syed, he's moved well beyond smart bulbs and plugs. Alexa, movie night. This is Matthew Helgeson. And some smart plugs even offer energy monitoring so you can figure out which devices in your home hog the most energy and turn them off when they aren't in use. And we'd hope to have Camille Carter on today. She's the president of the Madison Black Chamber of Commerce to talk about their big gala tomorrow night, but we had some Zoom issues. Yeah, sorry about that, but we want to let you know the gala is tomorrow night at Monona Terrace. It starts at 4.30. There's also a very special shopping experience this year. It's called the Black Wall Street Marketplace, and that begins at 2 p.m. And you, that's open to the public. And that's open to the public, and then after 4.30, it's just for ticketed uh, people who have bought tickets. If you'd like more information or if you would like to buy a ticket to the Madison Black Gala, go to MadisonBlackGala.com. It's the 10th anniversary of, yeah. the, of the Black Chamber. Big it's milestone. Big deal. Sorry about Camille. Sorry for not getting you on. Well, it's been a stopping point on Highway 14 south of Madison for generations. When we come back, how the Union Tavern is now the subject of a documentary. We'll meet the local filmmakers when Live at 4 continues. There's a difference in a small town where family values still hold true. Welcome to the Portage Furniture Store. Well, we ventured back to Portage and look at who we found, the two Ayers brothers, Austin and Aaron. It's good to see you guys. Welcome back. So how is business? How is life? Business has been great. You know, it's been very busy, uh, busy for both of us. A couple new kiddos in the, you know, in the past year. So no, but business has been has been doing great. I know you really want to give a, sh a shout out to all of the people around this area that shop local, that choose to come right here to Cook Street to see the two of you. Obviously, first and foremost, we're so appreciative of our customers, and there's just been such a strong sentiment to shop local, shop small, support family business, and you know, I guess with the inventory, we've been very blessed. We've got a packed showroom, 
trucks coming in every week. We've really, uh, we're, we're running out of places to put everything. We're, <laughs> we're in good shape. I feel like there's such a difference in the customer's mood when they walk in. They don't have that anxious feeling of, oh gosh, here comes the salesperson coming over to talk to me. Yeah. Why is that so different here? We put a major emphasis on no pressure shopping. Our salespeople, they're fantastic. They're going to be there when you need them, but they're going to let you, you know, try everything out and they're going to leave you alone, let you relax. So all these years later, the big question is there still the Portage Furniture free delivery. Yep, absolutely. Still the free delivery. Going to bring it right into your home, set it up, make it perfect for you. We'll even cook you dinner or sing a song for you if you need. <laughs> they're, they're just fantastic. That's that small, local, family feel business mentality. Absolutely. You just you can't replicate it, right? We're the family. family. From the Portage Furniture Store, I'm Emmy Fink, and yeah. you're buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Despite with all the weather right now, incidents are pretty much clear free for the Beltline right now. Just wet, like I said, the main roads wet, sides of the roads are getting the icy. As we go to the west, no issues right now, at least accident-wise. Speak of to go to Mount Horeb. Up to the north, so far, once again, it transitions more to snow as you get north, like of Lodi up to the Baraboo. But still, interstate-wise, we did have a crash near the 14. Uh, the, uh, the interstate near US 14, uh, the, right there, they've had an incident there to speak of, but oh, so far, so good. Notice that the rain and snow has kind of turned around, so something to keep in mind. So the night, you'll see precipitation going on, so be careful if you're driving out there, you guys. Absolutely good advice. Thank you, Greg. In 1660, a Dutch merchant ship sank off the coast of Texel. That's the largest island in the North Sea. And now, nearly four centuries later, luxury goods left behind from the wooden ship are on display in the Netherlands, thanks to the divers who brought the treasure trove to the surface. Some of the most striking items found, two virtually intact lavish silk gowns, one with a woven floral pattern, the other with a stunning wedding dress with pieces of silver woven in. Researchers and conservationists are calling the discovery one of the most unique historical finds ever. Wow priceless. It is. Well, the Union Tavern on Highway 14 is one of the last remaining landmarks in the village of Union. The country bar near Evansville is a gathering place for the locals, and now it is the subject of a short documentary film, The Union, Green Fields and Good Times. Take a look. So let me get this straight. You want to do a documentary on the Union Tavern and the people surrounding the area? Yep. Sure, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> the film premieres this Sunday at the Beloit Film Festival. Bill Roach is a Madison-based videographer and documentary filmmaker. And Joel Despain, you may remember, former News 3 Now reporter who wrote the script for this film. News Gentlemen, 3 reunion good to today. See you guys. Good, good to, to see you both. Yeah. Yes. So, Bill, so, Bill, what was the kernel for this documentarian? <laughs> uh, easy now. Um, <laughs> I was out uh, in a, for a ride with one of my brothers in his pickup truck, and he was asking me, what, you know, what are you going to work on next? And... We just started, you know, bouncing ideas around, and this is what came out of it, so. Joel, it is so beautifully written, and it, it's really like a love letter to the local watering hole and all of the unique characters that you find in a place There are like some that. great characters there, but, you know, the, the movie, the film, is really about community and how these people have hung together generation after generation. You know, Union was going to be a metropolis of sorts until the, the railroad missed them in the, during the Civil War in the 1800s. 
And so everything fell apart in terms of infrastructure. They had nothing left except for the what tavern. was the saloon, the tavern, the, the stagecoach stop. You know, it had been a lot of different things over the years. And now all of these people come and they celebrate births and they they mourn losses and they welcome in new people who come off the you know the the highway and uh, we were in there last week and ran into used to be our news director here at uh, Channel 3's brother Tom Beer's brother was sitting there so it's always something and they're just just really good people but it's really the, the, the story is about community and and how all these people hang together and support one another and this just happens to be the focal point of where they come together. Sort of like cheers without Norm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might show. find Norm if you look hard enough. <laughs> you, did, did you, were people open to you or were they a little reluctant to let you in? Yeah, when you showed up with your cameras and all your gear, well, what that was, that was probably like? That's probably the most difficult part of it, um, but the main bartender is my first cousin. So that was a logical choice to pick the union. Um, at first people were like, huh? Like, what's he doing here? And that's why Lip, when he, you know, he's talking through the piece, talking about like, huh, you're going to do a story about us, huh? <laughs> You know, and it's like, well, yeah. And then after a few times in there, they were fine. They were just like, whatever. Just did, did, didn't even. Didn't even care. Didn't it was just. Oh, you good. were there. They were yeah, very excited that we, you know, when I started showing up there. Was, I mean, I met a lot of new friends down there. And Bill's cousin's uh, first name is Mary, so people will say they don't say they're going to go to the union. Sometimes if a group of women say we're going to go to church and see Mother Mary. Mother Mary. <laughs> She's a big, big part of the documentary. How long did it take you guys? How much time did you spend there? It's really been Bill's labor of love. So. Um, I started shooting like last Easter around there, and I shot through the summer. And, you know, Joel came on. I outlined it, and, like, I'm not a writer. I mean, Joel's very good at what he does, and uh, we put, got it all together. And one of my colleagues at ESPN voiced it, yeah. Wright Thompson. He does the voiceovers for the opens of the Masters and stuff, and he heard about it. He goes, of course I'm going to voice it over. So, yeah, it, it all worked out really well. And it's debuting Sunday at the Beloit Film Festival. Mm -hmm. It's debuting Sunday, and it'll be the following Friday as well, but those are both sold out, and so they added another one on the following Sunday, the 5th, at 5 o'clock as well, if people still want to see it. Eventually released to some streaming service? Not sure yet. It's All it's right. uh, it's it'll be at some other film festivals, but it'll be on yet. Bill's phone if you see <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. If you see Bill on the street, ask him. Hey, I'd like to see that union. Face. Uh, Great to see you guys. Nice to Congratulations. see you. Fantastic. Yeah. Work, work well done. Yeah. Thank you very All right. much. Well, the final check of your forecast coming up. All right. Circle of Life at the Lion King. Experience the world's number one musical. Don't miss your chance to see The Lion King, one of the most awe-inspiring productions ever brought to life on stage. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at overture.org. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain, I make it rain. Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy an RV at Wisconsin RV World, and that's pretty darn close. Find your happiness during their RV Super Sale this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only. Save over $30,000 on this new Heartland fifth wheel. Get this Keystone Springdale for as low as $185 a month, or this Cruiser Radiance for only $240 a month. Plus, get a one-year no-charge camping pass with every RV purchase. Wisconsin RV World. If it doesn't say Wisconsin, it's just another RV dealer. Patio doors, patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. We do patio doors at scottthewindowguy.com. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain will continue along with hazardous driving conditions at least through tonight. At 5, I'll tell you when this winter storm will wind down. Then our team has live weather coverage from around the area mapping out the storm's impacts. It's coming up at 5. 
News 3 Now, first warn weather. When severe weather is on the way, find out first with Madison's certified most accurate forecast. Trust our team to keep you informed before, during, and after. First warn weather, keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Yeah, we'll see the precipitation, the mixed bag, sleet and freezing rain continue overnight, tapering off closer to midnight or there afterwards with some snow still going on. We could see another round for the morning commute, something to keep in mind of. Morning roads could still be an issue just with refreezing, less traffic and the combined with that with more precipitation overnight. So still keep that in mind even if you go out about tomorrow morning. And then actually that after conditions that we look good. Friday definitely cold, but then a mild and quiet weekend for right now before the rain moves in back on Monday. All right, just be careful for the next 12 hours or yeah. so. Thank you, Greg. Can you go scrape my car off? Thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow here on Live at 4, we'll preview the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra's latest performance. And Dr. Zorba Pastor will be here with the latest medical news, and he'll take your calls live. That's coming up tomorrow on Live at 4. Family's just very important. She's my sister, and we depend on each other a lot. She's the rock of the family. She's the person who holds everything together. It's a battle, you know, I'm gonna be there. Keytruda and chemotherapy men treated my cancer with two different types of medicine. In a clinical trial, Keytruda and chemotherapy was proven to help people live longer than chemotherapy alone. Keytruda is used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other immunotherapy. Keytruda may be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment. If you have advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer and you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene, Keytruda can cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body during or after treatment. This may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion, memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. There may be other side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems. If you've had or plan to have an organ or stem cell transplant, receive chest radiation, or have a nervous system problem. It feels good to be here for them. Living longer is possible. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. This year, say yes. I couldn't be more thrilled with my results. I'm over the moon happy. Look at that waist. Yes to confidence. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. Yes to a new shape. These are my results. I am so happy. Yes to a new you. I'm Dr. Elena Vega. Imagine you could remove this much fat from multiple areas all at one time. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I have the flattest tummy that I've had in 25 years. I'm able to wear things that I never thought I would wear again. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. Find out how you can get $250 off with our New Year exclusive offer. Call 1-800-993-0752 or go to sonobello.com. In today's final touch, it's a big problem on a couple's big day. The bride and groom got <laughs> trapped in a stuck elevator. Watch a newlywed North Carolina bride and groom rescued after they got trapped in an elevator on their wedding day. Following the ceremony, Panoff and Victoria Ja and several members of their wedding party got a hotel, got into a hotel elevator to head up to an after party, or so they thought. They made it five feet and boom, stuck. Charlotte firefighters responded, and after exhausting all other options, they got crafty. Two hours later and four stories above, they built their own elevator. The rescue crew hoisted the bride, the groom, and their guests to safety one person at a time. And although they missed the party, they did attend a reunion later to thank the heroes who helped make their special day that much more memorable. The worst situations make the best they stories tell the later. story for the rest of their lives. <laughs> yep. All right, that's our time for now. Thanks for watching. Be careful out there. We'll see you back here tomorrow. News Now at 5 starts right now.